be risky for a company already facing problems with its fleet on the ground. Biana Goladriga interviewed the CEO of Uber and then flew back overnight on a plane to be with us this morning. <laughs> Biano, Not well, quite a taxi, <laughs> yet, but Uber says they're willing to take that risk. John, good morning. We've all been there, stuck in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, just wishing that we could fly over the congestion. Well, now Uber says that dream can turn into reality with Uber Air. Imagine flying instead of driving to your destination at up to 200 miles an hour just by using an app on your phone. We think cities are going to go vertical in terms of transportation, and we want to make that a reality. So Uber CEO Derek Khosrow Shahi says this model of an air taxi shows the company's vision for the future of transportation. It's a world where passengers request an Uber Air on their phone and then head to these rooftop skyports where the aircraft take off. We want to create the network around those vehicles so that regular people can take these taxis in the air for longer distances when they want to avoid traffic at affordable prices. It's going to be um, really, really community friendly. And Jeff Holden is Uber's chief product officer. Level. So it's using these stacked, what they call stacked rotors, um, to create vertical lift. So the thing lifts up kind of like a helicopter, but then when it gets to the right altitude, it, this, this rotor here kicks on, and that's a, that's a, it actually creates forward thrust, and it uses the wings for lift. Holden says they're still in the design phase. Unlike a helicopter, this aircraft will have clusters of small propellers and run on electricity, making it quieter, more efficient, and more affordable. Although piloted at first, the goal is for the flying taxis to become autonomous. But questions remain about how they will guarantee safety. Uber also says for the program to become profitable, it will need to move beyond a niche market. One of the key tenets of this technology is for us to have four riders in each vehicle so that es essentially the cost per ride goes down. The combination of mass market and sharing, which is really what Uber is all about, can bring this to the masses, can make it affordable for normal people. Koz Rashahi took over a company in crisis when he replaced Travis Kalanick as CEO in August. You're an eight-year-old company, still not profitable, lost four and a half billion dollars last year. Why be so ambitious now? Ambition is what has created this company from the very beginning. Part of what made this company great is that we take big, bold bets. That's part of the norms and the culture of this company. And this is another big, bold bet that we think ultimately is something that the cities of the future are going to need. While Khosrow Shahi is focused on the future, the company is still navigating a troubled past, including a March accident involving a self-driving Uber with the safety driver behind the wheel that killed a pedestrian. The CEO says the software that decides how the vehicle reacts to objects on the road may have played a role in that crash, but the company is waiting on the results of an NTSB investigation. What I'm doing is a top to bottom audit of our procedures, training, software, hardware, what our practices are. So you can definitively say that you're not shutting down your autonomous unit? Yes, I can definitively tell that. We're not shutting it down. We want to get back on the road, but we want to be safe when we get back on the road. The company is also working to rehabilitate its image. A bombshell blog post last year detailing a corporate culture of sexual harassment was followed by numerous lawsuits and an internal investigation that led to Kalanick's resignation. How long do you give yourself as a leader to make sure that change is implemented for the better? If it's not changed right now, then I've failed. Uh, I will tell you that the company took upon itself to change. The change didn't start with me. What happened in the past was deeply unpleasant and, and wrong, but the company from a bottoms up standpoint started changing and I think it continues apace. How important is it for you to have female employees who feel safe and proud to work at this company? It's game over if we don't. We want everyone at Uber to feel safe, and if we fail at that, we will fail at a company, but we don't intend to. Khosrow Shahi says he's concentrating not just on correcting the company's past missteps, but on making the necessary strides to ensure the company's future growth, including the launch of Uber Air. You know, you've got to set aggressive goals in order to push teams and people to make those goals.
Uber plans to have Uber Air flight demonstrations as early as 2020. The company has also partnered with NASA to develop technology to control air traffic and prevent crashes. The first two Uber Air cities will be Dallas and Los Angeles. And about the company's bottom line, Khosrow Shahi said, look, we are profitable in some cities mm -hmm. and we're choosing to use that money to invest in technology. We'll see what, what investors ultimately say in the long run. Khosrow Shahi, Mr. Khosrow Shahi. Khosrow Shahi. Yes, Dara. <laughs> he's making it very clear that there's a new sheriff in town yes. and he's really setting a, a different mission and a different mm -hmm. uh, face for the company. Yeah. Seemingly yeah. in a very good, powerful, strong yeah. way. Yeah, and he mm -hmm. felt very open to talk to us about it all. But boy, he has a lot of balls in the air. I mean, he's got a lot going on yeah. to put this big new thing. He wants to be the Amazon of transportation, is what he said. Mm -hmm. All right. Can I just say that Dion and I were on the same red eye flight? I got off feeling like a dish rag. At, at quarter to six, we were at JFK, and the flight attendant said, You guys are never going to make it. And we both made and it. And now you look yeah. fresh as a daisy. Yeah. 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 You brought down the average yeah. sleep to about two hours on this, at this table. More or less. <laughs> Dion, good to see you again. Yeah, again. Coming up next, a look at this morning's headlines, including the worst flooding in more than four decades to hit parts of Montana. And rapper Meek Mill is using his time after after prison to produce criminal justice reform. We'll be in Studio 57 for his first live TV interview since his release. But first, it is 7.45. That means it's time to check the local weather.